I was born upstairs over the store in the apartment. And, uh, and in fact, I was born in the bedroom I sleep in. Dad uh, ran it for many, many years. And um, uh, I actually took over in 1979 and uh, kind of put my stamp on it. And I've been running it since. The, uh, the idea was to uh, have merchandise that harked back to a period of time. I think basically 1900 is the date that's kind of stamped in my mind. Um, I thought we were, we were leaving a lot of interesting things behind in our headlong dash toward high technology. I spent 18 years here and then I spent 18 years away. And that took me up to um, 77 when I uh, uh, sold out everything I owned and came back to Shepherdstown. My, my dad had become terminally ill and I needed to get back home. I did not expect that. Shepherdstown had not treated me well as a young person, but I was like the punching bag in high school. In my entire growing up in Shepherdstown, only one person I can remember had one positive thing to say to me. And uh, I was in Sunday school class, and I was supposed to read part of the lesson, and so I said, well, I'll just get everybody's attention. I'll do a real bombastic job of reading this. And I read it, read it with great emphasis and great enthusiasm and just bombastic. I was expecting to get my ears boxed. And the teacher said, you know, you're going to be a public speaker when you grow up. And here I am speaking in public. <laughs> my one desire when I left town was to make a great deal of money, come back and buy the town and burn it down. That has definitely come full circle. Well, I, I lived in Michigan for six years before moving back here, and um, a buddy and I would practice music on Thursday night. So when I got here, it was just, okay, we'll just continue Thursday night music. So we got the store open, and the first Thursday night the store was open, I played music. I was by myself. <laughs> and, um, and I was by myself for a little while. Um, eventually, a friend showed up playing the guitar, where we became friends, and more tunes, more music. Fiddle player joined us. He was an old-time fiddle player. Then four, then six, then eight, and then really took off. We were basically here by ourselves. Uh, occasionally, a customer would come in, and they'd listen to a tune or two and be gone. And, and uh, we were just having fun playing music. And it's uh, the Thursday night now. Uh, Fifty people show up, and that's fine. But if 50 people didn't show up, we'd still play music and have a good time. 